one major reason I love to encourage people to talk with Bill when they are considering selling or, or building a home at Lake Martin is that Bill has the vision. And we always joke with you that when you're out there showing, you know, your hands are waving almost like a true artist, you can see the canvas in front of you and you are trying to help us visualize your vision. So that has helped me as a realtor and I know repeatedly so many people that have chosen you have told me that's one thing they really respect about you is your artistic mindset. Yeah. Where did well, that come from? Well, I, from building in Birmingham, I think, all those years because, I mean, we if you think it's hilly here it's really hilly in Birmingham and I seem to always be drawn to those lights mm. so but if you'll if you'll always pick your lot first or if you've picked your house then you have to match your house to the lot mm -hmm. just because the lot's the right price or in the right area doesn't mean it's right for your house so if, if you can get a builder to work with you and I, I'm available most Saturdays till noon uh, so anyway be glad to come look and just show you why this lot works for the type houses that you've got torn out of your magazine or off Pinterest mm -hmm. that you know why this house would work and this one really doesn't okay I gotta stop you there because yeah. I, I sometimes get this confused mm. even as long as we've worked together you say they should go out and pick the lot first not mm -hmm. the house plan mm-hmm yeah uh, basically I mean have some plans that you've looked at you like the floor plans and uh, if you have 10 plans usually everybody has about 10 fronts and 10 floor plans well myself and David that does all my plans David Smelser and, and he lives down here mm -hmm. and lives in Birmingham full-time uh, but works down here a lot we can tell when we open that up while you're talking we know what the front of the house is supposed to look like that that's our job and you'll see all the floor plans will have a commonality to it. So we just take that and we adapt it to the shape of the lot, where if you've already drawn the plan, it's hard to find a lot that fits that. Well, I think that is awesome advice because remember there's so much more incurred cost of seawall amenities because it's mm -hmm. all, your cost of your lot is going to depend on how much water frontage you have. Yeah, it's going always. to off the top cost differently if it's a hundred foot lot or a three hundred waterfront lot. Mm -hmm. And then of course the topography, excavation, yep. and then you know uh, riprap or you know whatever or seawall. Cord walls yes, or, or wood. Yes. So yeah. great advice. Yeah. Well, and you have to realize when you're building a house there on the lake, everybody's like, why does it cost more? Well, everybody never asks that when they buy a golf course lot which if you buy a golf course lot, you have two fronts mm -hmm. and the front that is the most important is one toward the golf course. And usually it's twice the square feet because the others walk in level, you're always yes. a basement. So when you're looking from the lake, that's what you really see. So you're building a house and, and that determines a lot of your square foot cost it is the exterior of the well home said. and the height of it. Mm -hmm. Well said. Thank you. You're welcome. Give me a call. <laughs>